Hey guys, I'm Noise, and this is the first installment of my vlog. So, why would I want to start a blog? To be quite honest, I'm trying to just give some sort of recap. I want to give a trail, so to speak. I want to pull away all of the highs and the lows and the different things that come with rebranding. Right now, I'm in the middle of rebranding my entire social media presence from everything from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Some people have asked me about other streaming platforms. I don't really think so. I think I'm gonna stick with YouTube and Twitch. Those seem to be my two main sources that I've enjoyed doing things over the years. So what am I looking to do? Well, I'm not doing a refresh and I'm not doing a rename. A refresh feels like you keep the same name, but you change the graphics, the layout. It feels fresh, new, exciting, engaging. People come back, people that you already have established an audience with, they see it, they think, man, this looks amazing. And it works and it works really well for people. So if that's something that you're looking to do, have Absolutely, I've got advice on doing that as well. The other thing that there is is a rename, which is pretty much point blank what it sounds like. You keep everything except for logos, maybe you're doing a refresh, and you just change the name on your current channel with all your same followers, all your same everything. Mine is a little bit different, and I'll get into the reasons why here shortly, why I'm choosing a rebrand, a completely brand new everything to get started and hopefully by the end of me explaining it it kind of pieces together the puzzle and lets you guys know exactly what it is that i'm looking to do so one of those things is is that i've had a long history with streaming a little background i started in 2013 streaming to twitch one of my first videos was probably the worst video you'll ever see and sadly i kept one of the highlight videos because it's something that I went back and I looked at every once in a while. The name that I chose at that time was Frag Shout. And that name wasn't decided by any place of passion or anything that I decided on. It was actually decided with me and a friend joking around while we were playing a game of Call of Duty. And someone kept yelling, Frag Out, Frag Out. And I was like, listen to this guy Frag Shouting. And so I chose that name. It isn't exactly what I'm looking for. It felt like I was pigeon held. felt like I was forced to play first person shooter games. And I didn't play a lot of first person shooter games. To be quite honest, I enjoy MMORPGs. I really, really enjoy anything that I have to think and build a strategy to. And that's pretty much most games. It's one of the reasons I enjoy gaming. One of the other reasons why I'm going with this whole entire rebranding entirely is I've had a lot of real life issues that have popped up over the past seven years of me streaming. Everything from having to move, losing a job, anything and everything that you can think of being thrown at me has been thrown at me and then some. I even suffered a small time, short term, two month ban on Twitter. Twitch. During one of the peaks of my growth, in fact, it was one of the beginning things that happened to me when I was on Twitch. Am I upset about it? No. Am I salty about it? No. Do I understand where it came from? In most senses, I do. Do I think it was fair? That's left neither here nor there. I'm not going to confirm or nor deny my entire personal feelings on it. Fact of the matter is, is it happened. And it's not win or lose, it's win or learn. And I have chosen to learn from that situation. So my entire career was kind of this little peaks and valleys, so to speak. And then one of the last times that I had a real life situation happen, I ended up moving out of state. And I moved from Indiana down to another state in the South. And it took a little while for me to get on my feet to get things going. I was gone for nearly half a year and when I came back you can't expect people to just be there and I fully understand that and I fully understood that did I have a lot of my loyal individual community members that were still there viewers that I considered to be more like extended family absolutely people were there but still there was this little nagging twitching feeling in the back of my head that just didn't enjoy the name and every time I got to log on and I had to say my name and I was thinking about trying to brand with the name I couldn't get past it. And so I was at a crossroads and for the longest time, nearly a year and a half, two years, I contemplated either a rename or a rebrand. And I didn't really feel like pulling all of that energy from over there all the way over to this new place that I wanted to be, this new entity. And to be quite honest, I missed building a community. After a while, it just felt different. There's this 
level of energy and everybody that has made it past their first hundred subscribers, followers, anything like that, you feel a sense of like completion that you achieved a sense of achievement, like you achieved something. And I had gotten to a place where I had several thousand followers, but I didn't have hardly any viewers. And I don't measure success by viewers versus followers. And it was hard to really re-explain this to individuals that came into the channel a lot. Had a lot of people that came in and they would watch channel and it would always be like, well, you have so many followers and so few viewers. And I'd have to explain like, I've been doing this since 2013. What can I say? I've had to come and go, unfortunately. And I finally have gotten to a point in my life where I feel like everything's in order. Everything is set up, everything's intact. And I can do all of this and and all of this and the whole platform from a place of passion. And that's the big key point for me is doing it from a place of passion. So I decided to take the step and step blindly and take all of the information, all of the knowledge, all of the advice that I had both given and received throughout the entire tenure of that persona. And I wanted to give it a new shot. I wanted to change it. I wanted to try something different. So I decided to go ahead and select a name and it took me another three months to four months. I actually did a refresh in my entire channel. I paid several individuals that did amazing graphics work for the channel, original graphics work, great stuff, good money to have it completely redone, but still there was something about the name. So I continued to wait and I continued to try names and I had a list of about seven names and I would always try other individual names that I really wanted. If I could get them, then I would, yeah, you just felt like you were going to be happy. And one night I was just sitting in my room and in this game room, and I decided that it just felt like there was just a bunch of noise inside of my head. I wanted to convey what was in here all the time to you and to people like you that are watching. And it kept focusing around the word noise and all this noise and everything. And I wanted to be raw, unfiltered. I don't want it to be all hyped up, souped up in a character. I want it to just be real. I want to have individuals that feel like they're truly appreciated. I want to have people that feel like they're engaged and that they get the content that they deserve and they get the engagement that they deserve. Because to me, quite frankly, all of you that are here, even if you're watching right now and you've stuck through this entire video up until this point, you have given me your most valuable possession and that's time. And I think that the far and far less content creators are valuing that commodity. I'm gonna say it and I know that people are not gonna be happy with me, but it feels like people are being treated like they're an ATM machine and people are being looked at as cash cows versus viewers and I personally think of when you build this community and you get this foundation and they grow with you and they help you achieve everything that that it feels like they're more like an extended family now that's not to say that some of the top guys out there and top people out there don't feel the same way I'm sure a majority of them really truly realize that they can't get anywhere without the people that are there in fact it's been proven time and time again just watch the rise and falls of great amazing content creators when something bad happens but nine times out of ten when that bad thing happens it's something that they've tried to hide or something gets leaked on how they truly feel. It's never usually the ones that actually truly appreciate their people. And there's plenty of them out there. There's countless of them, content creators that are like that. So I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm not trying to throw salt out there or pour a big glass of haterade for everybody. I'm just trying to be honest. For me, I feel like while there are enough of them, there are some out there, I don't feel like there's enough. So I decided to take all this and I wanted to rebrand it into noise. I want to take what's in here, like I said before, put it out there for you guys. So things that you're going to be able to expect. I want to do content creation that's new, that's fresh, that's different. I have a lot of ideas that are coming out that I think will be amazing for you guys. I'm working with my best friend to try to get you guys some more content. I like to do events. I like to give things back to the community. I like to do things a little bit differently. There's something that if you come to my channel on Twitch and you look through all the buttons down below and you try to find something, you're not going to find it. And it's going to be pretty obvious. If you look at all of the different panels, there's one panel that's going to be missing. And the only time that's going to be in there is when we're doing charity work. I am blessed. I have a great job. It's not a tragedy story or anything. I just have a great job that I've worked very hard and diligently at that I really truly love. If you want to know what I do for a living, I'm a data analyst. I love numbers. I love crunching data. It's one of the reasons I didn't like the old name because I felt like I had to play first person shooters to be relevant and I don't really feel like that's my forte. I enjoy them, don't get me wrong, but I'm more of an MMO RPG individual. I like strategy, I like RTSs, I like ARPGs, I like anything that 
deals with doing numbers and making a spreadsheet and trying to find how to min-max everything. And that becomes truthfully and painfully apparent when you watch the channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. All the information will be down below on everything that I'm looking to sit there and create. All the information will be available to you guys. Uh, I'll have my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram, all of that, even Facebook down below. Facebook is really nothing more than memes. Just letting you know. Lots of memes. Too many memes. But other than that, you guys, I really appreciate you guys. I think that you're amazing. Thank you for your time. I truly appreciate it. And there's going to be more of these to come. This was just a basic get to know me type thing. And uh, I look forward to it. And I'll see you guys later.